Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. So today we are going to crochet this very cute and easy succulent. So the materials are listed at the beginning of the video. So get the materials ready and let's get started. Okay, so our succulent has three layers. So we have the outer layers, which has uh, five leaves. We have the middle layer with four leaves. And then we have the inside layer with three leaves. So we are going to start by making the outer layer, which we are going to make five leaves. And we are going to start by making the magic ring. And then we'll do six single crochets into the magic ring. So we'll do single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then I'll pull the yarn to close the gap and place my marker over here. Okay, so now in the second round, we are going to do single crochet, then increase, and we'll do that three times. We'll have a total of nine stitches. So we'll do single crochet. Then increase in the next stitch. And repeat, so single crochet. Increase in the next stitch. And repeat that one more time. So single crochet and increase in the next stitch. Okay, so now in the third round, we are going to do two single crochets, then increase and we are going to do that three times. So we'll have a total of 12 stitches so we'll do single crochet one single crochet two then increase in the next stitch and repeat that two more times so you'll do two single crochets increase and then again two single crochets and increase Okay, so now in the fourth round, we are going to do three single crochets, then increase, and we'll repeat that again two more times. So we'll have a total of 15 stitches. So we'll do single crochet, one, single crochet, two, single crochet, three, and then increase in the next stitch. So repeat that again two more times. So you'll do three single crochets, increase, and then three single crochets and increase. Okay, so now in the fifth round, we are going to do four single crochets, then increase, and then we'll repeat that again two more times for a total of 18 stitches. So we'll do single crochet, one, two, three, 
four, then increase in the next stitch. And then you repeat that again two more times. So four single crochets, increase, and then again four single crochets and increase. Okay, so now in the sixth round, we are going to do five single crochets, then increase, and then repeat that again two more times for a total of um, 21 stitches. So we'll do single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, and increase in the next stitch. And then repeat that again two more times. So five single crochets, increase, and then again five single crochets and increase. Okay, so now in the seventh round, we are going to start decreasing and we'll do five single crochets, then decrease and repeat that again two more times. So we'll have a total of 18 stitches. So we'll do single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, and then decrease. like that and then you're going to repeat that again two more times so you'll do five single crochets decrease and then five single crochets and decrease okay so now in the eighth round we are going to do four single crochets then decrease and then we repeat that again uh, two more times so we'll have a total of 15 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four and decrease and then repeat that again two more times so four single crochets decrease and four single crochets and decrease okay so now in the ninth round we are going to do three single crochets then decrease and repeat that again two more times so we'll have a total of 12 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three and then we'll decrease And then repeat that again two more times so you'll do three single crochets then decrease and then repeat again three single crochets and decrease okay so now in the tenth round uh, we're going to do two single crochets then decrease and repeat that again two more times for a total of nine stitches so we'll do single crochet one single crochet two then decrease then we'll repeat that again two more times so two single crochets and decrease then again two single crochets and decrease okay so now in the 11th round which is the last round we are going to do single crochet then decrease and repeat that again two more times for a total of six stitches so we'll do single crochet then decrease and 
single crochet then decrease and one more time we'll do single crochet then decrease okay so when you get to the end i'm going to remove my marker then slip stitch and cut off the yarn So that's one leaf so you're going to make four more like this like the way I did mine as you can see so we'll have a total of five so this one is for the outside part okay so now let's make the middle part okay so for the middle part we are going to start by making uh, six single crochets into the magic ring I already did that so now in the second round we are going to do single crochet then increase and we'll repeat that two more times so we'll have a total of nine stitches so we'll do single crochet then increase in the next stitch then repeat again so single crochet increase in the next stitch then again single crochet then increase okay so now in the third round we are going to do two single crochets then increase and we'll repeat that two more times for a total of 12 stitches so we'll do single crochet one single crochet two and then increase then repeat that again two more times so we'll have two single crochets increase and two single crochets then increase okay so now in the fourth round uh, we're going to do three single crochets then increase and repeat that two more times for a total of 15 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three and then increase in the next stitch then we are going to repeat that two more times so three single crochets increase and three single crochets then increase okay so now in the fifth round we are going to do four single crochets then increase and repeat that two more times for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four and increase and then repeat that again two more times okay so now in the sixth round we are going to start decreasing and we'll do four single crochets then decrease and repeat that again two more times for a total of 15 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four and decrease so repeat that again two more times Okay, so now in the seventh round we are going to do three single crochets then decrease and repeat that again two more times for a total of 12 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two so two three 
three and then decrease okay so you repeat that again two more times so three single crochets decrease and then again three single crochets and decrease okay so now in the eighth round uh, we're going to do two single crochets then decrease and then repeat that again two more times for a total of nine stitches so we'll do single crochet one two then decrease and repeat so two single crochets then decrease and again two single crochets then decrease okay so now uh, in the ninth round which is the last row which is the last round we are going to do single crochet then decrease and then we repeat that again two more times for a total of six stitches so we'll do single crochet then decrease and then again single crochet then decrease and one more time single crochet then decrease okay so when we get to the end i'm going to remove the marker then slip stitch and cut off the yarn okay so you're going to make three more of these so we'll have a total of four so as you can see i've made the other three so we'll have four for the middle layer okay so now let's make the inside part Okay, so for the inside part, we are going to start by making six single crochets into the middle ring. Okay, so we'll do single crochet one, two, three, four, five, and six. So pull the yarn. And place the marker over here so now in the second round we're going to do single crochet then increase and repeat that two more times so we'll have nine stitches so we'll do single crochet then increase in the next stitch Then repeat that again, single crochet, then increase, then one more time, single crochet, and increase. Okay, so now in the third round, we are going to do two single crochets, then increase and repeat that two more times for a total of 12 stitches. So we'll do single crochet one, 
single crochet two then increase and repeat repeat that again two more times so you'll do two single crochets increase and two single crochets then increase okay so now in the fourth round we are going to do three single crochets then increase and repeat that two more times for a total of 15 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three and then increase okay and then you repeat that again two more times okay so now in the fifth round we are going to start decreasing so we'll do three single crochets then decrease and repeat that again two more times for a total of 12 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three and then decrease Okay, so you repeat that again two more times okay so now in the sixth round we are going to do two single crochets then decrease and repeat that again two more times for a total of nine stitches so we'll do single crochet one two then decrease and repeat so two single crochets then decrease and then one more time two single crochets and decrease Okay, so now in the last round we are going to do single crochet then decrease and repeat that again two more times for a total of six stitches so we'll do single crochet then decrease then repeat again so single crochet then decrease Then one more time, we'll do single crochet, then decrease. Okay, and then when we're done, we're going to remove the marker, then slip stitch, and cut off the yarn. Okay, so uh, you're going to make two more of these so we'll have a total of three which uh, which are going to be on the inside part okay so now we're going to start making the part okay so for the part I'm going to use this white yarn and we're going to start by making eight single crochets into the magic ring so we'll do one two three four five six seven and eight and then I'll pull the yarn to close the gap and place my marker over here Okay, so now in the second round we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 16 stitches so we'll increase and 
increase the next stitch and increase increase all the remaining stitches okay so now in the third round we are going to do single crochet then increase and repeat that all the way around for a total of 24 stitches okay so we'll do single crochet then increase in the next stitch and repeat so single crochet then increase and continue repeating that all the way round okay so now in the fourth round we are going to do two single crochets then increase and repeat that all the way round for a total of 32 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two then increase and repeat so two single crochets then increase and we'll keep repeating that all the way round okay so now in the fifth round we are going to do three single crochets then increase and repeat that all the way around for a total of 40 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three then increase and repeat so three single crochets then increase and we'll keep repeating that all the way round okay so now in the sixth round we are going to do single crochets all the way round but we are going to do in the back loop only okay so we have two loops we have the front loop and the back loop so we'll do single crochet in the back loop like that then in the next back loop we'll do single crochet then single crochet and we'll continue doing single crochets in the back loop like that Okay, so as you can see there's a little line forming here so this is to separate the bottom and the top okay so continue doing single crochets in the back loop only all the way to the end okay so now after we are done with that now for the next two rounds which is round seven and round eight we are going to do single crochets all the way in each round for a total of 40 stitches in each round okay so we are going to continue and do single crochet the normal way in all the loops okay and we'll do single crochets all the way in this round and the next round so i'll see you when you're done uh, with the next round which is the eighth round and then we'll start the ninth round together okay so after we are done with the uh, eighth round this is how our little part looks like so now in the ninth round we are going to do nine single crochets then increase and we'll do that four times for a total of 44 stitches so we'll do single crochet 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then increase. And we'll repeat that again three more times. So you'll do nine single crochets, increase, nine single crochets, increase, and then nine single crochets and increase. Okay, so now after we're done with that, now for the next three rounds, which is from round 10 until round 12, we are going to do single crochets all the way in each round for a total of 44 stitches in each round. So we'll continue to do single crochets all the way. And do that all the way to the end and also for the next two rounds. So I'll see you when you're done with round 12 and then we'll start the 13th round together. Okay, so after we are done with the uh, 12th round, this is how it looks like. So now in the 13th round, we are going to do 10 single crochets, then increase. And we are going to do that four times for a total of 48 stitches. So we'll do single crochet one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, then increase and we'll repeat that again four more Time. So you'll do 10 single crochet, increase, 10 single crochet, increase, and repeat that to the end. Okay, so now after we are done with that, now for the next three rounds, which is from round 14 until round 16, we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 48 stitches in each round. So continue doing single crochets. all the way until you get to the end in this round and the next two rounds so i'll see you when you're done with the 16th round and then we do the 17th round together okay so guys after we are done with that that this is how a little part looks like so now in the 17th round which is the last round of this part we are going to do uh, we are going to slip stitch all the way around so we'll have 48 slip stitches so we'll just slip stitch then slip stitch also in the next stitch slip stitch like that all the way to the end Okay, so continue slip stitching all the way to the end. Okay, so when you get to the last stitch, we're just going to slip stitch also and then cut off the yarn. Like that. Okay. So now let's make the dart. So the dart is the one that's going to cover here on top. Okay, so for the dart, I'm going to use this brown yarn. 
and I'm going to start by making the magic ring and then we'll do eight single crochets into the magic ring so we'll do single crochet one two three four five six seven and eight Okay, so now place my marker over here so now in the second round we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 18 sorry 16 stitches so we'll increase then increase in the next stitch and increase and continue increasing in all the remaining stitches Okay, so now in the third round we are going to do single crochet then increase and repeat that all the way round for a total of 24 stitches so we'll do single crochet then increase in the next stitch then single crochet and increase and continue repeating that all the way round okay so now in the fourth round we are going to do two single crochets then increase and repeat that all the way round for a total of 32 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two then increase in the and repeat two single crochets then increase okay and continue like that all the way round okay so now in the fifth round we are going to do three single crochets then increase and repeat that all the way round for a total of 40 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three then increase and you repeat that all the way round so you'll do three single crochet increase three single crochet increase all the way round okay so now in the sixth round we are going to do four single crochets then increase and repeat that all the way round for a total of 48 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four and increase and we'll keep repeating that all the way round okay so four single crochets increase four single crochets increase all the way round okay so now in the seventh round which is the last round of the dart that we're making so we're going to do five single crochets then increase and repeat all the way round for a total of 56 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four five 
and increase and you repeat that all the way round okay so after we are done i'm just going to remove my marker slip stitch and then cut off the yarn long enough for sewing Okay, so now as you can see we have all our parts together so this top part is gonna go over here so we'll just sew it like this on the inside part and then we'll stuff we'll stuff uh, the part fully and then we'll sew it on top like that okay and then we'll put uh, our little leaves together so we have the ones on the inside the three of them so we'll, we'll start from the innermost so you have to sew them together let me just explain it when it's down here so you have to sew the first the inside part first together like this okay and then after that you sew in the second ones starting from where we have the gap so you sew the four of them and then the outside the five you sew them on the outside okay so let's do that okay so guys as you can see i finished putting all the parts together so as i said uh first you have to attach the soil to the pot so the little pot at the bottom so what you do is you sew in the pot all the way around until you have a little space over here that's when you stuff uh, the pot fully as you can see that's what i did and then you sew the rest of the uh, of the pot to the soil and then also what i did uh, with the leaves i sew in uh, the innermost leaves the three leaves first and then i spread the other leaves uh, with no specific manner the way you want them to look if you want them to look close together you just sew them uh, the way you want them to look like so i would advise first to use the pins uh, to attach the leaves and then you can sew them in uh, not in any particular manner or you can just sew them in any pattern that you want them to look like so this is how mine looks like so you can put um you can crochet some chain a long chain over here and this other side if you want it to be hanged or you can just place place it anywhere okay so that's uh that's it for the video today it's a very easy pattern if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe until next time bye